everyone, it's Whitney. Welcome to today's DIYs. Today we are duping up some restoration hardware style vessels and vases. And I just finished making all of these right here. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to share with you how I did these because they're so easy and you need to make you some. I'm gonna show you three different ways on how to give your vessels texture. I'm gonna be using two kinds of drywall compound. I'm gonna be using the dry decks, and I'm also gonna be using the five minute quick set. If you are new here, hi, welcome. I help you DIY a cozy home through home project renovations, thrift flips, and home product review. If you like videos like this, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. All right, let's jump into this video because I'm like bouncing out of my seat. <laughs> These are all of my thrift store finds. This one for $2, this one for $4, and it has, I think that's like bird seed stuck in there. So we're gonna have to clean that one up. This one for $6. For this one, since the rim is pretty thin, I think we're gonna build up the rim just a little bit and then add some handles with some air dry clay. This one over here is kind of a classic vessel vase I got for $5. Then these two, I love these two. I got them for $9 a piece. That's a little bit more pricey than I would typically pay at the thrift store, but I thought they were perfect for this and I I love them, but I think we can make them a little bit better. Now the air dry clay needs 24 hours to dry. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do this first because this needs the longest to dry. And then we are going to put some texture on these babies. And we're gonna mold it into like a little three inch long log. And this are gonna be our handles. So you're gonna wanna make two of these. And we're gonna build up our rim of this base. Flatten it out just a little bit. Put it along the rim. Just go around and smooth out the outside, smooth out the inside so it kind of has a nice seamless contour and then make sure the top is relatively smooth as well. This does not have to be perfect. Actually, the more imperfect it is, the more it will look like it's handmade. It kind of is. Once you have your rim done, we are gonna get our little handles we made earlier and we're gonna put these on. So just make a nice little curve, put them on where you want them to go and smush out the sides. Right, so we got a little handle like that. Now, hopefully these will stay on. If they don't, then we can let them dry and glue them on. We're just gonna go directly opposite that one and do the same thing. If this was real clay, you could stretch a handle, but since it's air dry clay, you can just kind of smush it out. And there we have it, a little vessel with handles and a nice thick rim. So we're gonna let this dry overnight. This Sculpey clay says it takes 24 hours to dry. So hopefully overnight, will be good enough for us. This is that dry dex I used on my other video. They have it in a tub. I like this one because it's pink and then when it's dried, it turns white so you kind of know. But they have a ton of different brands. I used this wallboard joint compound on the canvases I just painted. You can use anything. You can get even spackling like this at the dollar store. This will work too. But I'm gonna show you another option if you want something that's gonna dry the absolute fastest. So if you come down to like the lumber aisle, you'll see a drywall section. You can use this stuff. This is an all purpose drywall compound. It's the same exact thing, but it is cheaper. And then you can also get Quick set. So on quick set, it's a powder that turns into drywall mud. I like using this stuff. They have a five minute one. So the minutes on here are how long it takes to set up. Five minutes is fast. I mean, if you're gonna be doing just a little, a little project, I'd get the five minutes, but they have like a 25, a 40 and a 60 minute one. I just don't see them. But this stuff is great. It's the most economically priced one. Um, and if you know you're gonna be doing a lot of projects or a lot of drywall work, get something, get the quick set, but get it in a, a higher number than five. So for the bigger vessel, we're gonna be using this dry decks and on the smaller vessels, I'll be using that quick set, the five minute quick set. So let's use the dry decks on this one because we'll have a little bit more time to play with it. But what we're gonna do is use some gloves, go in with that dry decks, smear it all around. We're just gonna take it, smear it all the way around. So it doesn't really matter the way you put this on here. You could go up and down if you wanted, but think about it. If this was actually a piece of pottery being thrown on a wheel, your wheel is spinning and your hands are on the outside. So the little grooves would be where your fingers are when the pot is spinning on the wheel. So feel free to be creative here. If you want this totally smooth, you can wait until it dries just a little bit more and smooth it out. But you could also 
put some like nice ridges in it. If you wanted to do something deeper like that, you could do that. You could do some vertical lines like this, like around the top part. You could just do like one deep line around if you wanted. You could just make it all smushy if you wanted. Do whatever you want, get a stippling brush. So this is almost kind of like knockdown on your walls. So knockdown is like there's a texture sprayed on your wall and then you just go over it really, really lightly with a spatula and then that gives and gives a knockdown texture. I kind of like that. Give it all that texture and then smooth it out a little bit. All right, let's let this dry. So this is what it's looking like about two hours after application. So we're gonna let this sit overnight and come back to it tomorrow. This clay is looking pretty solid. It's still a little squishy, but that should be dry tomorrow too. Here's the next morning, and this is what our vases are looking like. The clay is almost dry. This, I would say, is about 90% dry. There's still a little bit of pink in there, but I think we're good to go on that one. For this one, I'm just going to go in and kind of knock off all of the loose, kind of pointy parts that want to come off on their own. So this one we did with the dry decks. This one over here, we just have the air dry clay. And now we're gonna be working with this five minute quick set. I'm just gonna pour some water in and I'm just gonna mix this by hand. All right, so this is pretty much the consistency that you want. It's the same as the dry decks, but this is gonna start setting up real quick. All right, so I'm just gonna put this on just like how I used the dry decks. So the good thing about using quick set is that you can do this project in the same day instead of using the dry decks and having to wait for it to dry for 24 hours or overnight. You could do this project the same day. And another great thing about using the powdered quick set is the powder doesn't really go bad. Sometimes if you keep an old <clears throat> jug of the dry decks around, it can dry out and you have to buy a new one, but the powder stays good for a lot longer. So I'm gonna set this off to the side and while my quick set is still not totally set, we're gonna move on to this one. So I am gonna take the quick set up over the clay just to make that rim a little bit more seamless. And then the same with the handles. I am gonna take a little bit and go on top of the clay so the texture can remain the same. And don't forget to do the inside rim as well. And just go through, smooth it out, do whatever texture you want to do on it, and then we'll let it dry. So after you have it spray painted with whatever base color you want, you're going to take a handful of dirt, hopefully something that's relatively dry but that has some texture in it, so like some rocks, and we are just going to rub it all over the base get that rock in there to scratch it up. You kind of see that texture and color we're getting. Then we're gonna spray it with a clear matte enamel. Do the same thing. If you wanted to create some like a line you could go from like right here take your wet dirt my little one that was spray painted up black I'm gonna do the same exact thing just to give it some of that earthen texture just take a little rock make some intentional scratches take some dry dirt and rub it into those scratches Spray it up again. Mm -hmm. 
these are looking pretty good. I'm really liking how they were turning out. Let's take them inside and do the other ones. So these two are the ones with the five minute quick set. They're totally dry, ready to be worked on. And this is the one with the dry decks. So they dry down the exact same way. The only difference is the texture. I went a little bit more clumpy, heavy handed on this one and a little bit more kind of like a knockdown on that one. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Go in and kind of knock off any pokey parts or anything that looks like it's loose. I'm gonna come off. So for this big one, this is going to be my color palette. We just have titanium white parchment, suede, tan, golden brown, and brown. And I picked up a little cheap little brush like this at Michael's for a dollar. So we're gonna try to stipple, stipple it on there. Let's see, I feel like it's giving it too much of a standard just I think paper towel is the way to go. Just damp a little paper towel and then pick up some color, mix some colors, and then just kind of dab it on around. You could probably use a sponge for this part too. The only color I did not use, I didn't do the brown, and I used only just a little bit of the tan. Where I thought the tan was getting a little too crazy, I just went in over it with a, some white or some parchment. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that tan color and just Give a little bit of depth that way. I'm just using the same paper towel that I've been using. I'm gonna dab into that tan, kind of diffuse it out a little bit, and then give it just, just a little bit, just a smidge. All right, so I am liking how these are coming along. These two right here are on the more light side. And for this one, I'm gonna go kind of like black with a little bit of brown in it. You can use a brush for this part instead of using paper towel because the paper towel does take a really long time. You could put baking soda in here if you wanted that kind of like terracotta effect. We are all painted black. The paint is still a little bit wet and I had an idea. So this is the one that we made outside by rolling around and rubbing dirt on it. Well, instead of rubbing dirt on this, what if we used cocoa powder in the wet paint and just kind of like rubbed it in and then we sealed it? I mean, that's kind of cool. So I have a feeling that once we spray this with a clear coat enamel, the cocoa powder might dissolve a little bit so I am going a little heavy-handed uh, right now so if it does dissolve then we're still left with a little bit of detail so it is kind of melting the cocoa powder a little bit but I think it's kind of preserving it and turning it a little bit darker brown which looks really cool cocoa powder rub it in your clear matte enamel look at that that is so cool since I have discovered what cocoa powder looks like when it is sprayed I got this one out and I am just 
caking it with cocoa powder and then I'm gonna spray it and then seal it in, I think. It is the most glorious day. I'm just sitting here in the grass. Uh, thank you guys for joining me on today's video. If you like videos like this, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. I make videos every week on helping you DIY a cozy home. I would love to have you here. I do thrift flips, home renovation projects, and home product review. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.